Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of www.talkingwithheroes.com, the talk show program. I am Bob Calvert, your host, and I know we're probably having many, many new listeners right now, so I just want to share with you real quick, this is not a political program. Uh, we're all about supporting our troops, the families, the wounded, the Gold Star families, veterans, military and veteran support groups. That's what we do in a non-political manner. Uh, it's all about helping people. And uh, three times now we've taken our program over to Iraq, embedding with the troops to bring back the progress stories, the positive stories that unfortunately back here in America we don't hear a lot about. And I've been working for a long time now, about 10 months, finding the sponsors to get over to Afghanistan. Well, we're here now. If you've listened to some of the previous programs, you already know that. And uh, we're with the Fort Carson's 4th BCT, 4th ID. We've been in Jalalabad doing many interviews. Uh, we have some more we're going to do a little later, but right now we're going to do something a little different. We're getting ready to go on a helicopter, and I know I can't talk on a helicopter, but what we're going to do is once we leave the flight line, uh, we're going to start taping at least a half hour of what we're seeing out the window. It's a beautiful country. Uh, those of you in you know Rocky Mountain area, Colorado, you know what the mountains are like. Um, what we've seen so far from the helicopters, they're even higher mountains. What's fascinating is to see the little villages, real small villages, out in the middle of nowhere. You go a long ways, and here's another little village. And so I'm just going to capture as much as we can on video. And what we're doing is we're heading to Kalagoosh. Uh, Kalagoosh. Kalagoosh. Thank you, Specialist Harris. That's where the 4th BCT, 4th ID, most of them have been for about 10 months in the Nuristan province. Those of you who have been listening for a while, we had call-ins from them in January and February talking about the progress. And so what we're going to do when we get there is, is document as much as we can on film some of these stories so you can see what you've been hearing about with our troops. And, and, and I know you'll, you'll know this by now if you've been watching these programs. Our troops have just been doing an incredible job over here, just like the troops are doing all across Afghanistan and Iraq and around the world where they serve. And so we just feel like it's important to bring back the progress story. So that's what we're doing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to you getting an opportunity to see some of the scenery as we fly over uh, parts of Afghanistan here. I would not be here if it wasn't for the people that helped sponsor us coming over, whether it was uh, small monetary donations or, uh, you know, fairly large for me, hundreds of dollars are large for me, uh, and items that we really needed for the trip. So I just want to let you know who they are uh, and get a chance, go to their website, let them know that you appreciate them helping support the troops in this manner. Uh, Rob Brazell with uh, returntowork.org, it's the number two in the middle, returntowork.org. Blackhawk.com, 
supplied us with a lot of the equipment we needed and monetary help. Uh, Anthony Pace of FreedomHunters.org, Alan Gray with uh, NewsBlaze.com, uh, Bill Wisniewski at Fort Benning Films for most of the airborne events. His website is the number 5jump.com, 5jump.com. And Sportsman's Warehouse came through at the last minute before we were leaving with some equipment we really need to figure out a way to get, like these wonderful waterproof boots I'm wearing. Uh, with sportsmanswarehouse.com in Colorado Springs, manager John Fly, thank you John. Uh, my good friend for over 30 years, Eric G in Olathe, Kansas. Sponsor many, 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 many times over, and I can say a lot more many's. Good friend for the troops and our show. He takes care of our, our website. Nicola Clark in Elizabeth, Colorado. You'll be hearing a lot more about him over this year as he uh, gets his uh, pallet company, environmental pallet company launched. They're going to take a much bigger role in helping, not just talking with heroes, but support groups. And Debbie Gregory with uh, militaryconnection.com, just an incredible website filled with information. And uh, soldiersangels.org. Um, as we do interviews here, you'll be hearing a lot about them with the care packages, but they do so much more. Just check out soldiersangels.org. I want to say hi to Patty Bader and Jeff and all the angels out there. And, uh, and then Chief Warrant Officer, retired Dennis McCormack, uh, one of the founders of the Home Front Cares in uh, Colorado Springs, part of many organizations for the troops, helped me get trained for this high altitude. And many more. Just go to talkingwithheroes.com and click on the main trip banner on the right side of the home page where it says Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kosovo. 